All right. Where was it? I am meeting Not actually gonna make me choose to not four times. It's so dark. Do I have a flashlight? Holy crap, I can't see anything. What was that? <laughs> kind of scary. <laughs> for one eddy donors only. <laughs> what happens if I get it wrong? He's just gonna shoot me. Inside, quick. I feared they had a coach. Yeah, he was straight up gonna get me through the door. Right about now, Hanukkah's the most famous missing person in the world. I am aware. So, every Arasaka soldier is on our trail. Where is she? You're right. Let us not waste any time. I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea? Yes. She respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. 
Oh, she's right here. Hanako-sama, Kanojo ga Rei no jinbutsu desu. Dou ka hanashi o kiite agete kudasai. All right, no bells. You're in Nobu's, the murder. He strangled your father. I saw it with my own eyes. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Why? My word means shit to you? Hanako-sama, I apologize on her behalf. <laughs> oh, shut up, Goro. We're supposed to be honest. Well, that's what I'm being. Fine. Maybe I am just a two-bit thief. But I'm the two-bit thief that stole that fucking relic off you. Slotted it in, took a bullet to the brain, died. You... died? Oh, yeah. Now I'm stuck with Johnny fucking Silverhand in there and I'll do anything to get him out. So I got exactly nothing to lose. But you got lots. Hanako-sama, be is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word she speaks, if only you will help her with the relic! Hanako-sama! Did you hear that? Go and check. Alright, I'm a girl. A bad feeling about this. I'm gonna get breach and cleared. Oh. Damn it! Why are they? Why are they shooting? On the ground, cut! Don't move. Chance to get the fuck out of here. Takamura. Can't leave him back. Forget there. him, guys toast. Unless you want to wind up like him. Oh god. Yeah, give me that. Should have cleared out my my shit. Holy crap! I've got a lot of shit. I'll drop all the non rare stuff.
not gonna lie, River. This man that you gave me. Not the greatest. <laughs> Be careful. We must go different ways. Alone, we have a better chance. Really? Think so? Then go. Now. You're welcome, Takamu. Yeah, you there. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. Where'd I get the shotgun? No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll tell you. Yep. Just two fucking losers. And I thought we were screwed when Goro kidnapped Hanako. Mm-hmm. See? decide to cross a corp, this is what happens. You think you just stepped in shit. Actually, you fell head first into a cesspit. Anyone knocks, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goro? Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Song yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. Doubt. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. It's Goro. It's Hanako-sama. Not a word. I have a message for V. Don't touch that door. Are you asleep? Time to wake up! Ugh. That on the wall, is that blood? Yeah. Knocked the last star off this dump. So, you were saying, got a message? <sighs> Sitting right here. <sighs> It'll start soon. What'll start? What is happening? She it's a doll. Or a proxy. Who is it? I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Monaco? That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Any word from Goro? We split up when we went on the run. Takemura is in a secure location. That is all you need to know at this time. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takamura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you. Yet even had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. You put a tracker Porcelain on Porcelain, bitch. Custard. Takamura, how could you? Okay. So now that you know and believe, what's next? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. You're gonna help me first. Perhaps I did not speak clearly. We must act quickly. Well, I'm pretty tight on time too. Dying, in fact. My dead body'd make for a pretty lame-ass witness. I understand. Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi? Mikoshi? 
One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Sheesh. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. The process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least. Got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. THE Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer, using her own modified version now. That should be more than useful. That's about the extent of what we got. What now? Let us meet in person, at Embers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Uh... Well, that's my job done. You know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sokka leads barging here. Got what we wanted. Don't tell me that proxy got to you. Fuck you. Come on, think about it. Yesterday, Hanukkah was living in a world that was completely safe for her. Now what she got on her hands now? Foreign city, a homicidal brother, and a fucking thief. It's why she sent a proxy. She's alone. And she is shitting herself more than we are. Uh-huh. Clink. What? Did you say clink? Mm-hmm. Sound of her attaching her leash. <laughs> Meet Hanako at Embers. What's up? Got a few more words about the the porcelain cunt? Oh, oh shit. Get ready. Fuck. Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. The silver hand. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. It's not a pseudo endotrizine in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. <laughs> 
Did you want to pop the pill? Coolier Chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. Oh my god, I can't walk. Reserve a stay for more than three nights at Undersea Reverie and get a special discount. After all that hard work, you deserve it. All right, Johnny. Sure. Okay. I believe you. Thanks. Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. Ouch. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. Hidey hole. These yours? They were. Belong to you now. Top tax? <sighs> Fifty years back. Uh, Mexican conflict? When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. Ordinary people always lose. So that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <sighs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now. Watching the fan until the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? For Johnny? Sure, buddy. For Keanu, sure. I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear, I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get wiped. Tags are proof of my promise. Really? I... I... Do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Got a better idea. Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher, fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Seriously, Smasher, he suddenly comes to mind. Last time we saw him, Didn't we... have a chance to say hello, that's why we gotta find him. Finally, end this. Right. So, understood. Ready? And I want Rogue to be there with you. It's important to me, and it's just as important for her. So, I gotta tell Rogue. Everything? Think I'd better do that. Handle it personally. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. Not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. 
Hey, just busted out of Soul Prison. Check out my new ass. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Okay, whatever. YOLO. Fine. I'll do this for you. Appreciate it, thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise, you won't regret this. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. There's no way Keanu Reeves is playing here, right? No way. The Hotel Pista Sofia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. Act three. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yep, you do. Think. Just good. Need. Oh. Feel. <laughs> the hotel pissed to Sophia. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. So me and me and Johnny are chooms. Right. Spare a veteran some change. Here. All yours. Why so good in you? God bless. Is this the last one? I feel like before when I saw um, like other people like showcasing cyberpunk graphics and stuff, they always had this Nocturne quest tracking. I feel like this is the last thing, like the last main quest. I'll save this one for a second last maybe. Hello. Not a bad looking clinic you got here. One of the best in the whole city. Surprised, eh? People think Pacifica is the third world. Children playing barefoot among ruin, but they can't see the strength that lies dormant here. One day, they shall reckon with it. Looking to get chipped. Mm-hmm, and? And what? You're a ripper, aren't you? Yes, for my people. I'll make it worth your while. Is that so? Worth it by how much? That's just so annoying. <laughs> Heal on kill, 16k. Visibility for 10 seconds. 
That's pretty cool. Jeez. Takamura. <laughs> I am brave underwear. Yeah, I saved your butt, Takamura. Even should you abandon your body, never abandon your honor. <laughs> this guy quoted Musashi to me. Never stray from the way. My boy. Um, there's gotta be a drop point somewhere. Oh, there's a gate here. I get this. Um, but I need a pistol. No better pistol. Chinchibare. Maybe I keep this so in the actual like loud fight I can switch to this. <clears throat> Goodbye, Scapo. Goodbye, Tsumetogi.
cześć, no. I mean, it doesn't say I'm in a hostile area. Oh, it's not loading. Come on. I'll give it a little bit. It's gonna be a bloodbath.
I ran someone over. Alright, oh crap, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, I swear. I thought I could do a tighter turn. This is why I stick to focus. Stand here! The sun is down, but I hope you're still up! Don't know if you've heard, but word is there's a mind-blowing, industry-changing BD in the works. Get this. The crucifixion of Jesus Christ. What? Word's even gotten out about their pick for the lead role. A convict on death row with an expiration date. What even was that? You just raked in a hefty heap of eddies and have those animals see in red. Oh. See, I like folks who know how to leave a lasting impression. I think I'll close this contract and hold on to your number for a while. All right, nice. I guess. Shops around here. I mean, maybe I, I buy this legendary thing for this for Doc. Just because I still do quick hack. Even if this guy's being annoying. Who is this? Oh, it's Joss. It's this girl. Cute. But the thing is, I can't even talk to River. Because <laughs> he's he turned into a mute. next. Hello. 
Looking to get chipped. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I need to remove all this first. Looking to get chipped. And I buy Yutsuki. 35k. Yeah, give it to me. Wait, this one's better. Wait, how come I did not see that? I might trip it. How far back is this? Looking to get chipped. It's cheaper too. Wait, why? 876 and 86. This one's iconic. Oh, increases cyber deck RAM recovery rate by nine units per 60 seconds. Hey Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey. I'm just glad you remember me at all. Cause I got a favor to ask. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? <laughs> You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I'm intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <sighs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. Really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right, then count me in. What's a wetsuit? But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there at sundown. Okay, um, is this a date? <laughs> Guess you'll have to find out. We'll have to. See ya, V. 
Oh my god, I know where this is going. Huh? I know where this is going. Oh shit. I'm just gonna assume they're evil. Holy crap. Huh? It's better by one. Where did I get all these revolvers from? What? You can get your own premium souvenir. The grand Beta. Who's there for fuck's sake? that noise. Oh shit. Imagine you're just like chilling out in your squad. Like a little... A little hangout, and your head just gets blown off. Because I'm not wanted by the police, I'm assuming that's okay. I think maybe I should leave I should leave Judy still very high this. So is this. Maybe it's because I don't know. Uh, this is not that interesting to me. Five out of twenty. The races were kinda of dull. Thanks. I wonder what these people are going to ask me now. Yeah. 
safe area. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Uh, Mike, w we're talking about the cornerstone of my exactly. platform. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Corp... No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, oh, I gotta boy. go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me, of all people? Wouldn't rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security look into this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out? That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. Intruder, take anything? Break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? That or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think maybe you should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. She's gonna be like... Come on. Let me show you around. 
Maybe she's in on it. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka... So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. That corporate life. This is where Jeff saw our intruder. And fired at him here. Right after walking out of the bedroom. At least that's how he remembers it. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? Hey, yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. Oh, it wasn't a dream. No, of course not. Follow the blood trail. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we. This is where we sleep. Blue roses. You sure? Roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course you're right. They didn't have blue roses. I forgot. Uh -huh. Iron. This Jeff's. Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Discharged booster. Someone's been pulling all nighters. Either of you use energy boosters? I don't. Not that I know of. Jeff, maybe? He works so hard. But it wouldn't be like him. He's always been against using any substances. Any. Nicotine's a substance. Jefferson has never smoked. Really? Could have sworn I've seen him smoking. Jeff? No, never. He doesn't go near the stuff. Something's fishy. What's that? No. You and Jefferson have come a long way. To get from Haywood all the way here, it's no easy thing. Yes. If you aren't born with a silver shard, your chances are slim. And if you're born in Haywood, they're almost non-existent. Better aren't I from Haywood?
refer to from Judy. That's cool how you can kind of like see things that happened before. Leia Patel. Oh my god, he's got a twin, doesn't he? Like, one of them smokes. I don't know. It's like some prestige shit. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it though. Christ. Think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects? They violated our privacy. The sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This Talking ends now. I'm not again. letting any more of those freaks set fire. Ever oh, since this terrorist started something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Sketchy. Synaptic pathways. There's no blood. Scan the strange computer. Uh -huh. Odd. Text practically prehistoric, but doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around him, see if we can't spot where our receiver is camping out. Got a vision on our receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is this whole thing, though? Fuck if I know, but my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car.
Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. Seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. Know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Well, could be. Tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah. About to pay him a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Why is the wife sketchy? How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. What the heck? That's kind of creepy. It's like some horror movie shit. Hello? See? Hello? Target not hackable. Jam packed with hardware. My optics don't see any manufacturer info or detect any mods. They don't mass produce trucks like those. What are they doing? What are they hiding? Earjacking. Huh. Could be the security firm or government. Definitely not your ordinary van. Whoever it is, our intruder could be in there. I think it's time I went and said hello. Gonna lose him if you don't pick up the pace. Don't lose him, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy, you V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what.
display, but behind the scenes it's all out of war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players. String pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections. They're taking us in the one side. It's cannon well. Media scouting for dirt on the parade. Definitely not your ordinary van. Whoever it is, oh God, our intruder could be again. in there. I think it's time I went and said hello. Gonna lose him if you don't pick up the pace. Don't lose him, V. Oh, now you're interested. We could expose a corporal conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what.
Ooh, I can go quiet. No way, man. This one should be that much. And here I thought to stay and be a dime. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records. Vulnerability to neuroplasticity. It's some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Uh huh. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? 
So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Holy shit. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it, that's your suspect. Shit! They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. What the hell? That's crazy. Emperor 620 Ragnar. Do you have any news? Gonna wanna sit down for this. It's... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds and now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait. Not on the hall. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. What the heck is this? Right, see you there. <laughs> Roach race. Oh my god, it's the Witcher. I'll play the Witcher after the side of one. They already beat the game, but uh... Ooh, level two? <laughs> oh god. I haven't played the expansions for the Witcher, so... Did these go down to the floor?
guess that's what the glitch does. You'll never catch me, Geralt. Score was like 3,000. Oh, the Griffins are playing the ground now. Still a while away from the top score. Oh, it's foggy. Oh, oh top five though. I'm supposed to get a thing, right? Thousand is so far. Controlling a bunch of politicians. That's actually crazy. Unknown, but the ESA has offered a generous reward for any assistance in apprehending the suspects.
Hey, you there. Hey, you dig brain dances? Hey, feast your optics right here, yo. Got the meanest, creamest shit ever scrolled. <laughs> How you look is all that Take a sweet, 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 clean speed. Cause life is too short to be slow. Hey. Will you sit? Please? Yeah. Thank you for coming. Cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are, then. What is it? I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago we last met. Something happened since then? No. I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax. No need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. I keep expecting sunlight. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. Some secret agents like How so? Up. He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself? After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. Oh, that must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time you knew what I could end up finding? I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That's that terrifying. concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mentioned any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they just wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? Haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you? Try to blackmail you? They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it.
but damn it, Elizabeth, you gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads. What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me? Asking me to lie to my employer? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival. Holt, you just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. Truly prepared to fire SSI? After the threats? Need to be brave, but risky as I'll get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Mm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Oh, man. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. That's so messed up. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives? Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, I'm ready. you there. You ready? I'm talking to you. I don't know if I'm ready. Hey! Either I lie to them, keep them in the dark, and just let them be controlled. But it's not like they won't even know if they, they really have each other. You know? It's like how can you really be yourself or be with your partner? If just random strangers can decide who you are. Is that? No, 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 here we go. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. 
You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Bruh. Fuck. Holy Am I gonna let myself get bullied? That is so scary though. Hello, V. Hey, man. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth. What did she tell you, exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, man. V? Uh, it's tough, man. They're in positions of power, I gotta... I don't know, greater good type of a deal? SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. There's some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a beady smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take of some unknown group that's out to control your lives you there. Have you taken your daily supplement? No, there's a concealed room in your pad out with it they've got tech in there you wouldn't believe these people know everything about you and your wife watching your every move <sighs> Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while with you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories? Can't even trust those anymore. If that's stuff. true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. I broke Wait, him. the intruder. I have to find him. Trust me, you never will. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Show their hand if you're patient. Wait long enough. Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. As long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war? Feign weakness so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My god. I have to tell Liz! Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point? Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. 
She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? No. No, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. Is there anything else I can do? You've done enough already, V. All that's left to do is wait. See, I told him to kind of feign weakness and wait. Because if he starts making a buzz, they're just going to kill him. At least this way, I don't know. Maybe he's got a shot. So what now? Still want to be mayor? Even though they might just wait. Well, I'm not about race. to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity, then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. And same with your eddies. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So, aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. My man. My man. I'm hoping it works out for them, yeah. What a view, though. Look at this. And ruined. <laughs> and ruined. <laughs> oh, Night City. There's no way this quest line just made it to me. Who is that voice? Oh, man. What is this? Oh, this is Judy. Let's do Judy's thing and then call it day. Four kilometers away. Feel just like is that very sweet?
Flirt with Boyfi. Oh my god. <clears throat> Bruh. Dumb happy, you know. Aww. River. That's cute. El Chamuco. Where do I even go to like... I guess it's supposed to be cinematic, huh? <laughs> Literal trash heap. I mean, this is nice though. Look at this.
This is early evening. It's daytime, dude. I don't have a wetsuit. V, looking good. You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Well, factor that in, and you look fucking amazing. Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes, is all. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy? Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it. Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work, ever. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? The cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. <laughs> what do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, Palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right, get that booty of yours suited up. <clears throat> Do this often? What? Make other girls put on skin-tight wetsuits? Oh my god. Mint diving. As often as I can. As for the rest, well, I'm picky about my girls. Oh my god. Let's get this scroller on you. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. You should see me in my Max Tech uniform. Whoa. Mean you have one? Indeed I do. Won it in a bet. Still hangs in my closet waiting for the right occasion. Huh. I'm gonna hold you to that. Oh my god. Haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? A bag of rocks? Come on, don't sell yourself short. Water's toxic, that not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. All right, let's do this. 
Whew, freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Yellow. 360. Stay close behind me. And don't descend too fast. Where are we headed? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? No, I bother. I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to turn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. So artsy. I wish our swimming speeds were synced. I am slightly faster than her. I swear to God, if there's like a shark in here or something. This is it. Holy crap, that's kind of scary. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me, swim. Enjoying the view? Visual sensors are getting stemmed right now. Can't be denied. To think I never realized how fit you were. <laughs> Don't get excited. Oxygen supply is limited. Great motion calibrated. Now swim hither. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. I have no idea. I do. I do know that. <laughs> I know that. Eddie Sorrentino, only you. Never did go in for sentimental stuff. Got stuck in my head lately, though, that one. All right, that ought to do it. We are now... Synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. I'm gonna see teeth. I'm gonna see big-ass teeth. Just, it's gonna be like an anglerfish. I'm gonna come zooming out of the darkness. I will fucking die. Now grab this and hold on tight. Bruh. Down we go. Are we going down? Oh shit, we are. Oh fuck. <laughs> this floaty underwater stuff in games always freaks me out. City, holy crap. Impressive, huh? That's, that's incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Yeah, I remember. NC Dam Limited made plans to build a dam. People protested, and... The rest is history. Houses, playgrounds... All flooded. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? It's important to me. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. 
That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taken me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time, gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea it just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. Weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now, your childhood tasted like scop dog from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. You know what they say, it ain't caliente if it don't burn on the way in and out. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Well, I can pick it up. Can I take pictures? <laughs> Take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. Hockey stick. Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Which moves it, Alvarez? We're losing because of you. Coming. Coming. You're dead meat anyway. Anyway. Sorry, you gotta go. They're calling. They're calling. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. Still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. Judy, Judy, watch out for her cooties. She can't even afford to have parents. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like, living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things, technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told, uh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Temperamental, huh? Uh, that explains a lot. Dominant family trait? No idea what you're talking about. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. We still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me.
We're looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. This is really cool, actually. It's hard to imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> touche, Judy, touche. I gotta say, don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. This isn't yours. Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. <laughs> you took her doll? As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? W why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the Dude. days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Damn. Deep. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid. Our daily life grinded along. You can imagine it a bit. Are these garbage? These <laughs> are pretty garbage bags. Church hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that second ago. Now I can almost hear him. Don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. Fair enough. Found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. How did you get in? Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Off. Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared because of 
the Jesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out flew right back in my face. No! Uh-oh. Did I just die of the water? V! Please! Oh, thank oh, fuck. fuck. You're alive. How did you drag me up here? What happened? You passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? Oh my god, you can hear him. You? Heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a... Mm, complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Oh, John. Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Uh -huh. Stay where exactly? Are we gonna camp on the shore? Nope. There. Our cottage for the day. How about it? Ooh, just reject her. Yeah, right. Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. Still recording. Must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. Thanks, How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Not a coffee person, but you know. Ah, forgot to start the generator. A generator. What's next? Jacuzzi? <laughs> Finnish sauna? No, but there is running water. I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. Evelyn? Huh? What an incredible dive. Doesn't get more relaxing than that. Power's up. Your little spa is open for business. So be careful. Of course I will be. What? Judy? What happened? Wait, before I go in there, I need a loot. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. You thinking about Evelyn? Clouds has gone to shit. So close. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. I didn't want to tell you. 
wanted this to be just our day. I want it. It is ours. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh, YouTube. These my clothes? Whoa, they look different. <laughs> Is this what I actually look like? <laughs> huh. This is without the um without my outfit, huh? Oops. I mean not terrible. The denim shorts are kind of nice, actually. <clears throat> this doesn't look too bad either, to be honest. With Judy, they gave me a timer, dude. When I was looking at River, I had all the time in the world. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. So. Yesterday. What was that, exactly? Don't remember, or you want me to remind you? You know exactly what I'm trying to say. What did it mean? Like, to you? I think it... I mean... I hope it was the beginning of something nice. Unless you see things differently. 
Ugh. It can be such a gonk sometimes. Ruined my plans, you know that. Was gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. Even started packing. But now, I think... I think I gotta stay. Aww. Why'd you want to leave? You know, everything that happened. Guess it just got to me. But now, from where I stand... Night City started to feel like the place to be. Give me your hand, B. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa. Uh, asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Wanna go there now? You can if you want. Gonna stick around for a bit before I head back. What's that? See ya, Judy. What? Something up? Hello. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just like I'm just, I just don't exist anymore. Huh. I mean, that's. Show me her old town. She gave me access to her place. She wants me to stick around. She's gonna stay in Night City for me. And now there's Judy and River. said a word to River. Where is Where was like What's her name? Joss? Oh, I have more than one apartment. What is this? Here are apartments and vehicles. Ah, this is where, um... This is where River is. <clears throat> I don't really use my apartment, huh? I'm never home. Can't be easy, raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. 
In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. Oh, God. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month, just to not have him hang around. Let's, uh, change this subject. I think I already talked to her about this. Where are the kids? Ah, there he is. What's up? Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, can I actually talk to him now? Didn't have any blowback? I mean, for stepping into the Peter Pan case. No. Ah. It's only because of us, Gonagal closed the investigation. They padded their stat books, so we're in the clear. And? How do you feel about all this? I'll let you know when I know. For now, I'm just helping out Joss. Enjoying some time off. Life should be back on track before long. Bill Jablonski. How's the career switch? When's our new private detective starting up? I'm still finding the meads. Hasn't been easy, but the biggest hurdles are behind me. License, equipment, software. It's all in order. Just haven't figured out how to market myself. Aiming to specialize in anything? Kidnapping. Randy's ordeal put a lot in perspective. Well, guess that makes sense. Oh my god. Not too pissed I haven't had the time for you? You got your own stuff going on. I get that. We'll make up for it. Yeah. Promise. As soon as I cut some dead weight. I'll hold you to it. I don't... Is that a breakup line? Sorry, I got Judy now. Uh. <laughs> Been having this thought lately. About what? Us. Can't get it out of my head. That you don't see a happy ending? How'd you know? I didn't. Maybe I'm just starting to get to know you better. Anyway, I... It's stupid. Rambling. Just forget I said anything. Already forgotten. Is that it? Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count title. Well, or Maelstrom depending on the season. But I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. Example, they sit you in front of a mirror with a shaving razor and tell you to keep going until red and pink turns to white. Trailer park, huh? Huh. Oops. Sorry, YouTube. <clears throat> Sheesh. Right, that's not too bad. Got them short shorts. My god. Versus um E Street wear pants. Ooh. Motherfuckers. Whoa. I'm net running. 
Daisy Saints with some Daisy Dukes. Oh my god. I don't want a shorts outfit, you know? <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty sick, actually. Totally doesn't match. It's gotta be like a cooler shirt somewhere. Huh. Oh, I have the dog tags. Oh, it's only for the shirt. I thought it was just always on me now because he gave them to me. That's pretty cool. What is this? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> huh. Sick. Should I use the white mask then? Ooh, that's too white. What am I doing? I mean, there's this too. Just the usual flayed, rolled up sleeves. I like this look though. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I still completely different, huh? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Nope, nope, nope. Sure. Is this just the way to pass time? Yes, it is. Oh. A sleepy boy. I like wake him up. All right, see you later. Oh, you can.
can take a shower. Can I do that in my own apartment? What does this do? That's glitched. Does this glitch out? Look at this girl. Change appearance. Ah. Wait, did I actually change something? You can just do that in the mirror, huh? Is he still sleeping? That's... Okay. Okay, so what happens if I go to Judy's? I was just thinking of you, and before you ask, no, you weren't wearing clothes. <laughs> Heard there was some trouble in Japantown at the parade. What'd you hear? Corpos opened fire, civilians were killed. Yeah, that was kind of my fault. Don't ask me how, but the second I heard, I knew you were involved. Just wanted to talk to Hanako. Things went a little sideways from there. Dealing with corpse? What did you expect? What else is going on besides that? Ah, uh, you know, same old. Rather hear where you've been up to. If I wasn't always on the move, you and I could spend more time together. Enjoy life. Quality over quantity, V. Just focus on tying up all your loose ends. Then you and I are leaving this city once and for all. <sighs> Try to. Helps to keep it at the back of my mind. Guarantee it does. People already say I've got a bounce in my step. Still think about leaving Night City? Yeah, someday. But as of right now, I've still got a reason to stay. Let's talk for a little while longer, before I have to delta somewhere. For you, I've got all day. Guess what's up? Wow, she's actually talking about something. First three are collector's items nowadays. Someone 
likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. We knew that already. Ah, with all the filming stuff. Uh -huh. If I sleep here... It's a really small bed. Thoughts can breathe easy underwater. No other nets or spider webs. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. I will perched on a gun. Yeah, that's pretty simple. She's in the bed. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Would shake at night city uh -huh. your man stand here. Yeah. Now, this can just be genetic Anyway. I think that is good enough for this time. Next time... I don't know. I kind of do feel like this is the last thing. If it is, I feel like it's a pretty short game. It's like five main quests. Well, if if you only do the main stuff, but I don't know. Maybe it's not the last thing. Anyway. Until next time.